Good morning, it's Monday, April the 19th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases, along with the halts at the open so that you can only profit from them, and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, hopefully you all had a tremendous weekend, but it's Monday, it means it's time to get down to business. I've got two great press releases for you, one from the Canadian side, one from the U.S. side, and I've got no halts to report on in the second segment. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Tasho Mining. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol TAW. The company is announcing today the completion of an NI43101 compliant report on the resource in the Chevrier deposit which is located in Quebec. We've got some numbers from the NI43101 which includes from surface to a depth of 250 meters contains 4.6 million tons of inferred resource at an average grade of 1.99 grams per ton of gold for a total of 295,000 ounces of gold. A little bit about the company, their gold exploration and development company actively engaged in the acquisition of precious metals properties primarily in Canada. Companies last at 14.5 cents, high of 23.5, low of 7 cents, market cap of $2.3 million. Moving on to our next company south of the border. They are called Sino Biopharma trades on the bulletin board under the symbol SNBP. The company is announcing their third uh, quarter financial results for the quarter ended February 28, 2010. We've got some highlights which include total revenues increased 145% year over year to approximately $2 million. Gross margin increased 172% uh, to approximately $1.6 million. Operating income increased $1.8 million to approximately $1 million, and that's up from a loss of $800,000 from the same period last year, so that's a significant change. Earnings per share of $0.01 cent compared to a loss of $0.01 cent, uh, in the same period last year. And finally, net worth increased from $776,000 as of May 31st, 2009, to just under $9 million at February 28, 2010, so another significant increase there. Companies last at 26 cents, high of 80 cents, low of 15 cents, market cap of $30 million. And that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts in the AM for you.